We are in Allegheny Center with Karen Reuter. Karen, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I heard you go to Carnegie Mellon. True, true, mm -hmm. true. My husband teaches there and went all the way through to his PhD. So it's nice. He was all excited about this when he saw that CMU had something to do with it. So. Right, yeah. Well, CMU has a hand in a lot of, a yeah. lot of things, I feel like. So it <laughs> yeah. probably happens often. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But um, tell me about yourself. Tell me about um, when you moved here and, and for what reason, I guess. We moved here, I guess, about five years ago from Squirrel Hill, actually. Mm -hmm. Our boys are through with college and on their own, and we had a large home, and we thought, well, we don't really need this anymore. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so we looked all around. We looked on Mount Washington, and it had to be convenient for us to, you know, get to squirrel hill back to our doctors and right. you know get to the north hills get and to carnegie mellon get to carnegie mellon it's really easy for fred to do that yeah. so um yeah so we looked around and we thought well this is a great place i don't think people realize how good allegheny center is even yeah. the apartments they're fabulous yeah we have a huge apartment there and we love it um but we did look on mount washington and it was just it was just too much and can you imagine the roads in the winter time? Oh it's my gosh! It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, and we're city people, so we didn't want to go anywhere outside of the city. And a lot yeah. of the places downtown weren't really ready yet. So, yeah. and I didn't want to be in the strip either at the Cork Factory. So we really liked it here, and we came, and so we're very happy. I mean, it's a diverse neighborhood. We love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we walk Bella. Everybody knows Bella. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce Bella. Oh yeah, Bella. This is Bella. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her watching. Yeah. <laughs> But everybody in the neighborhood knows Bella. She uh -huh. goes to the Children's Museum, visits with the kids. Uh -huh. It's just really nice. And when the park started to be uh, constructed, we met so many more people. And the Children's Museum was so warm and welcoming welcoming anybody who wanted to know about it. Yeah. I mean, they had uh, seminars and talks and let us know what the planning was and how it would uh, you know, affect our apartments and things like that. And we got to know a lot of the people over there, oh, yeah. like Jane, the director, and, and Vicky. Vicky. Vicky had a big part in the museum, um, in the park area here. Loved the park. It was a mess. Yeah. When we first moved here, it was just, just horrible. Yeah. You know, it was smelly, and you didn't even want to walk out here. It's so beautiful now, and you can see it from our terrace. Uh -huh. um, we can see the city from our bedroom window, which is fabulous at night. And it's just such a diverse neighborhood. And I mean, with life Pittsburgh there, yeah. the elderly people, they love. They love when we walk by there and we lift up Bella, you know, and I've taken her in there. It's just, it's just the greatest neighborhood. And I wish people would not give the North Side such a bad rap. Right. I think people say, in fact, we have friends that live on the eighth floor over here and they moved here from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Huh. Marie and Jean, yes. And they just packed up, sold their home and said, we want to live in Pittsburgh. Uh -huh. They'd come for a Steeler game or a Pirate game and fell in love with the city. Oh yeah. And said, "Well, this is a great place to live. We're going to move here," and so that's that's a prime example right there. Yeah. And when they were going to move here, somebody said to them, "Oh, you don't want to move to the north side. It's too dangerous over there." And we walk all over the place. We yeah. walk down to a game. We walk into the city for you know for dinner. Um, you know, we just went to the. Heinz Hall to watch, um, I can't remember the name of the woman, but anyhow, we uh -huh. did. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, with Just attractions recently. like these, yeah. you'd think that people would come down here and realize that it's not a dangerous place. And my husband said to make sure you knew about the Hazlet. That's fabulous over there. What about the Hazlet? They have such great art projects, and, you know, artists come in, ballets come in that are contemporary. It's very contemporary over there. Uh -huh. And you just enjoy walking over there, taking in a show, and, you know, being able to walk home. Yeah. And anybody can come over here and, and do that. I don't know, you know, why people are so afraid of the north side. Yeah. Especially our area. I mean, look how beautiful this is. The That's Children's so Museum has been so instrumental on everything around here. I mean, they're great. Yeah. Um, I just like to see the library field over there, yeah. somebody going into there and, you know, making more. But, you know, this is kind of a cloudy day, but nine times out of ten, people are bustling all over this place, you know, walking over to get something to eat. There's Western Avenue. You can go to Nikki's. I mean, there are so many places that you can go around here. Absolutely. Um, and it's really, it's it's just fun. It's a yeah. fun neighborhood, and I'm really sorry that it does get such a bad way, especially yeah. from here on up. I mean, yeah. It's great. In Allegheny Center, yeah. Allegheny Center is fabulous. I wish people would take more notice of that, yeah. too. You know, we do need more restaurants. That's the problem. Okay. I mean, 
we have to have more places that will draw people. Yeah. You know. But look, we have the aviary. They yeah. have a little cafe. Yeah. Just like the uh, Phipps Conservatory. Yeah. I mean. It looks Let, like there's food in the children's museum. Oh, the food in the children's museum is fabulous. Yeah. You know, sometimes I walk over there with a friend. Just and it's just amazing how you can walk around here. Yeah. The only thing that I wish that would change would be East Ohio Street. What about it? Oh my God. <laughs> it's really, it's just a mess. There's some nice places that are starting up, okay. but it could be so cute. Like people could walk over and you could walk to East Ohio Street and, you know, go to a small bookstore or a coffee shop. There's Bistro over there, which is wonderful. Yeah. But it needs to be, it needs to be fixed up. It yeah. needs to be more like gentrified so that people could go to little stores. Yeah. You know, like Shady Side used to be. Yeah. It wouldn't even be bad idea. I mean, people would love to do that. Go yeah. to a section of the city where there are stores, that little boutiques and things that they could shop up. I mean, right now it's just, you know, there's a liquor store in the middle of the street. Yeah. Um, there's just not a lot up there that, that is appealing to the eye. Right. The other thing we'd love to have a great grocery store. <laughs> oh, that'd be good, yeah. Do you not have as many great grocery we stores? Oh, no. We only have one. We Which, have the Giant right. Eagle over here. Right. and That's it? Yeah. Right. Usually, a lot of us go out to the North Hills. Right. That's where we do our grocery shopping because the grocery stores, you can pick up milk and eggs or whatever you need over there, but yeah. other than that, you, you can't find, travel. like if you're entertaining or something like that, Yeah. you know, you've got so much over here, why couldn't you have a decent you know, grocery store. Absolutely. Yeah, and and the more restaurants would be great, really yeah. great. And people, you know, I know our park hasn't been here very long. I don't even think it's been here a year, but I don't think a lot of people know about it. Right. You know. Yeah. But we're kind of protective of it too. A lot of us still pick up trash and stuff, and we, you know, that's it's awesome. that's yeah. the neighborhood. So you, it's like a community. I mean, you're involved in a lot of things too. You're you're, you're mm -hmm. active in the community. Yeah. And you go you go to the children's museum. Often. We go to the children's museum. We go over to Life Pittsburgh. I just love this area it's, yeah. it's great and I mean walking down to the ball games walking down to a restaurant going to Heinz and the Benetton yeah you know what could you ask for I Are mean there I great don't community activities that are going on or yes in fact I guess in I think it's June they're going to start the concerts up again oh, and cool. they're fabulous yeah. they're absolutely fabulous they come out here everybody comes from the buildings and listens and and it, it's just filled it yeah. really is and then the chef from the Children's Museum uh -huh. does cooking classes out here. Oh, And what? then he lets everybody taste the food once he makes it, and that's great, and everybody comes from all around for that. Is that for the concert, or how often is that? Concert is, I believe, once a week. Okay, and mm -hmm. then the chef thing is during the concert? No, it's a, it's a separate. So oh, we separate. have, uh huh. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and see, we have Allegheny General too. Yeah. So a lot of the doctors live around here. Oh, uh -huh. we have a lot of the Steelers that live here. Really? They live in, oh, yeah. In I guess they like 10. the short commute. Yes, yeah. yes, and they're nice guys. They yeah. really are nice guys. And so we see them. We have baseball players that live here. It's just a fun community. I don't think that Fred and I would have gotten that up on Mount Washington. No. I mean, this this is really an upcoming area, and I'd like to see it get a little bit better. Yeah. You know? And people realize how, how good we are and not yeah. that it's... It's already so great. Yeah, it's but... not... People think it's not safe over here. I walk Bella when Fred's been teaching in the evening. Yeah. And I don't feel afraid at all. Yeah. You know? I mean, Plus, I mean, who? I mean, no one's going to mess with you with Bella, though. Oh, yes. That's the thing. Our guard dog is Your my guard husband. guard dog, yeah. <laughs> Calls Bella, right, yeah. Bella? Hey, Bella. Isn't she good? She is. She's great. Best, one of the best well-behaved dogs that I've had so far. We um, rescued her. Really? Mm-hmm. From Where did Pomeranian you... Rescue. Uh -huh. And, um, you okay, Belle? And she was very sick when we got her, so... She's uh -huh. she's really good. We she love looks well her. Now. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's well taken care of. <laughs> As my husband said, we made a donation for her and ended up spending more on her teeth. Than... Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking the time You're to talk welcome. to me. Um, and this has been really uh, educational and um, great. I mean, I love this area. Oh, and I know. There's so it's many just, resources here. It's there are, and I wish people would know that and, and um, come and see us and see our park. I don't think a lot of people know about it and how great the sculptures are. And, oh, and there's a lot of artwork around here, too, if you just look around at some of the, you know, the sculptures. Like the anchor has a history to it, mm -hmm. the big blue sea, which I hear they're going to paint orange. But, <laughs> yeah. well, people will see it. Maybe they'll do glow orange. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, it was nice well, meeting was nice you, meeting and you. I'm glad you invited Bella. Yes, it's been Bella really was a exciting. Pleasure. Yeah. yeah. So, well, thanks a lot. Thank you. Cool. Take and good care Bella of yourself, Bell. Do you want to shake, shake hands? hands? Oh, baby. Oh, go ahead. Meow, 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 meow.